Hi, I'm Nathan James Larson. And I'm making and releasing 50 plus songs this year and documenting the entire process. Inspiration. Oh my God. The highs. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I just had a song idea, listen to this. And the lows. I feel so not creative right now. I don't know what I'm doing. This is week five. We got the goods. And this week was finally that inspirational week that I'd been chasing all of January. New songs, a fun adventure, and an insane amount of creative inspiration. This episode is called When You Finally Feel Creative Again. Oh, and if you want to watch the previous episodes, I have a whole playlist in the corner and link below. It's Monday. My voice is still not all the way back, but I was sick all of last week and it was terrible. It was horrible. My kids got sick. My wife got sick. I'm sorry I did not post a video last week. I think you can understand why. To say that this whole first month has been disappointing would be a little bit of an understatement. It's been a disappointing start to the year. So what I need to do today is honestly figure out really what the next month looks like, what this week looks like, what the next month looks like, and how I want to go about all the releases that we have planned ahead. My goal then is to get as many instrumentals done as I possibly can and hopefully my voice is better next week and I can sing next week or maybe at the end of this week. So I'm going to figure out what I need to get done today, what I need to get done this week, really what I need to get done this month. I will say, taking a week off, I am itching to work so bad. Let's have a killer week. Sunrise over the water, I swam over and under, get lost in all the wonder, never call it quits, no. When life hit me apart, I went faster and farther, I just gotta remember I was made for this. Finally have a better idea of what today looks like. We're gonna start with just doing some mundane tasks. One of the artists I'm collaborating with on my hymns project sent me vocals over the weekend. So I'm gonna start with that and then we'll move into actually working on some production work. Let's do it. All right, let's open things up. All right, I need to go ahead and download these from Rin. Download. All right, let's, let's take a look. I'm gonna go through and listen to all of these takes and then we're gonna see which one sounds the best. Then sings my soul, my savior God to me. How great thou art. How great thou art. All right, so we got all the vocals edited, vocals comped. It sounds killer. It sounds so good. And so what I'm gonna do is spend probably about an hour working on some instrumental production on Before the Throne of God. If you haven't been tuning into this series so far, I have an entire album of cinematic hymns that I'm working on. 10 of the 12 songs are already produced instrumentally and I've gotten vocals done on a couple of them. I have two more to go. Two more. Alrighty, so you can see here, this is where we're at. We've got a lot of it done already, but we gotta fill in all this blank space here now. Do it. Let's go ahead and roll with it. Let's fill out the rest of the strings. I think I'm just gonna like solo the strings out. So viola and cello will just do like some interior voicings. That's pretty good. Oh, I think it'd be kind of cool to go like dum, bum, 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 bum. this final verse. So more like staccato. is just put some drum hits. It's on like the downbeat, so.
Okay, so I just spent a good chunk of time producing and it feels so good. It feels so good to actually feel like the ideas are coming together, feeling inspired, feeling like I'm actually making something beautiful that, I, that I'm happy with. The last two weeks have been so uninspiring. I felt like none of my ideas really worked and I've realized that a lot of that is an internal judgment. Like I'm just judging my own music. And sometimes I'm just not in a good state of mind to judge my own music. I'm sure if you make music or do anything creative, you can relate to that. But it occurred to me that I have not showered in at least a couple days and I stink bad. <sighs> okay, I took a break, <laughs> got a shower. I'm clean, I'm clean. I actually smell nice. We're gonna get back to making some music to finish out the day strong. There it is, there we are. Before the throne of God, let's go. I'm gonna basically see if I can get as much done as I possibly can now. Octave down. I'm just gonna kind of keep doing all the things that have that melody. I initially had a different idea for this outro, but I think I'm gonna change it. Maybe do something soft. I think we need to have some more staccato -y, maybe strings going on in the viola. Maybe even the cello too, actually. I think I think that the cello needs it as well. Feeling like everything's very legato-y and kind of flowy and we need something to contrast that. So I think what I'm gonna do is manipulate these strings a little bit. some instruments that we need to add in here that are missing. <clears throat> I need some cymbal swells. I want a bram, which is like a big fat brass and a drum roll. Okay, there's that. Let's get the cymbal swell. Let's add the bram. I want to add some more rhythm here. That was unexpected, but I really like that. I kind of like end up adding this Tommy, Tom thing. I really like that actually. Just like that, Before the Throne of God is mostly done. I, I think I'm gonna add some more bass elements in it, maybe tweak some things, add some little fine details and nuances, but the whole arrangement's finished. I am so happy, I am so excited. Ah, it's such a great feeling. So what we have left to do is In Christ Alone, that is the last hymn of this entire project, and then it'll be 12 songs, 12 songs. Overall, I'm feeling so much better than I felt last week. I'm so incredibly thankful that I'm feeling better. I've got a lot of new original music I need to start working on, and I also have several covers that I'm working on. See you tomorrow. Starting a new day is always welcome for me. I plan what needs to be done, and I enjoy the quiet. And today started with what you hear, playing some piano. I have a lot to do today, and sometimes slowing down to start is just what the doctor called for.
I think we have a pretty cool day planned today. For quite some time, I have really wanted to record my own cymbal swell samples. I have a drum set, I don't really use it a whole lot, but I'm obsessed with transitions, like drum rolls and swells and risers and all sorts of stuff within the context of cinematic music. That's a really big piece of it. And so I had this idea, what if I just made my own? So we're gonna take a little trip to the local music store. I'm gonna look into buying some mallets, like soft mallets to do some rolls. I'm feeling pretty good about where I am in the week, so let's head to the music store. Shouldn't take very long. I want to kind of try a few different things too, possibly. You're gonna let me even play. Look at that, so I can see which one I like the best. Pretty simple. No, I think it's good. I'm not super picky. Oh, no tap. Oops. 11 11, make a wish. No, thank you. I'm good. Thanks a lot. Thanks, dude. Right. Have a good one. We got the goods. Let's go home. Let's go. We got the goods. Ah, oh, man. Gotta take this off. Alrighty. Woo. Look at these bad boys. Sick. Just to get the job done. We need to go get the symbols. Let's go get the symbols and do this thing. Now, I told myself I would not show you my gear room. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's disgusting. Makes me want to vomit. Drums are in here. Crashes. I know you're not supposed to touch these with your fingers. I'm so sorry. If you're a drummer, I am so sorry. You're probably like Nathan. You should take better care of your stuff. I know, I'm sorry. But this is gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be a ton of fun. I'll grab a couple microphones. I also need a cymbal stand. Okay, small diaphragm condenser, and then we'll try it. We'll try the Jay-Z black hole. Got two microphones here. Yeah! Well, hey, these are heavy duty at least. We're gonna start with the pencil mic. First attempt. Oh crap. I'm pretty sure my daughter's napping right now. $10 says I get a text very soon from my wife saying, shut up. I'm just kidding, she's very nice about it. She doesn't tell me to shut up, typically. All right, so what we're gonna do instead is at least just get the session set up. I'm gonna just set the mic up and then we'll wait till my daughter's awake. All right, good news, my daughter's awake. I'm allowed to film without getting in trouble. My wife didn't text me, so I owe you $10. First thing we gotta do is get the preamp on to make sure that we're not coming in too hot. I think we have to turn it down a fair amount. All right. All right, I'm gonna play as loud as I can. Dang, we're coming in like exactly where I want to be. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and record. From here, I spent about 30 minutes recording as many takes as I possibly could. And after testing two different microphones, I prefer the small diaphragm the best. Oh man. Yeah, I like the pencil mic better, so there's no reason for me to do that. Jay-Z mic, it had like this extremely bright kind of color, not a huge fan of. We got a bunch of samples to work with, so now I pretty much need to go in and clean them up and organize them and then do some processing and whatnot. Oh. Mm. Fellas, get yourself a wife who brings you coffee. Don't worry, I do lots of things for her too. And she got herself a coffee also, so she, you know, whatever. Okay, so the whole drum sample thing took way longer than I thought it would. And I actually haven't started anything new, musically speaking. The whole drum sample thing kind of took most of the day. So I have one more hymn to do. 
one more hymn, that's it. And then I'm, and I'm literally done instrumentally with 12 songs in an album. So I'm gonna spend the rest of the day working on some music. Okay, let's actually make some music. Number one, do not disturb. We are working on the song In Christ Alone. This is the only hymn on my hymns album that is not like a traditional hymn. Like this is, this is not like written in the 19th century. And here's all I have. I just have an intro and I don't even know if I like it. I haven't heard this in a while. I did this a while back. So let's just take a listen and see what we got. Alone. So just gonna be piano at the beginning. What heights of love, what depths of peace. I think strings come in here. Let's just start here. Let's just waste no time. Let's get get right into it. I think I want the start of this to be a little more textural. Maybe some low strings and then some very floaty kind of airy things up on top. So I don't even remember what key this is in. What key are we in? Maybe I just want like a very high ethereal thing there. What heights of love, what depths of peace When fears are still, when striving cease Yeah. Yeah, if I get to a point where I'm just really not liking something that quickly, I'm like quick to get off it. What depths of peace when Really neat. I like that. That's cool. We're, get, we're getting somewhere. If this is your first time watching or you haven't heard me talk about this, one of the things I'm doing in this hymns album is using these ostinato patterns all over the place. Sweet. I think I'm just going to listen to the rest of the song because uh, I have this like piano arrangement all the way through. I just kind of want to see where I'm going because I forgot where I'm going to be honest with you. So this second verse, I'm not actually sure what I want to do with it. However, this third verse is very obvious. If you're not feeling inspired, buy a verse, move on, go to a different verse. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go where I feel the inspiration is taking me. All right, so we've got this like. Ground, his body lay, light of the world by darkness slain, then bursting full. All right, so we're gonna do like tremolos. Light of the world by darkness slain, then bursting forth in glorious day. I figure out this inner voices here. It's only four, a little after 4 p.m. and we're, we're already crushing it here. That's sick. 
I showed you before, we had like nothing. Now we've got like a good chunk. What a contrast from last week. I'm feeling very, I'm feeling really inspired right now. It's only been an hour, folks. Okay, so we're gonna go to more staccato short stuff here. Dum, bum, 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 bum. Life, no fear in death. This is. Echoes and drums and all that jazz in here. Dun, 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 bum, bum. Yeah, I like that sound better. Some toms. Wow. I think that this was probably the most inspiring day I've had this year so far. What a day. Wow. I cannot wait for tomorrow already. I'm gonna finish this song tomorrow. Let's go. I am so ready to make music today. We're gonna finish this song. We're working on In Christ Alone again. This is the final hymn on my hymns project. Let's go! I'm ready. Let's do it. I think I'm just gonna get all the strings written first. Yeah, let's just start with strings, then brass than drums. Let's just kind of order it that way. So, start with some bass. There's some pretty cool hits that are going to happen in here too. We're going to do more some Brass. Let's get some brass up in here. Oh my gosh, why is it so hard? Let's add drums. Yeah, I'm actually gonna perform. here. Wood Heights of Love. Wow. 
20 minutes and we already got that whole section done. That is unbelievable. I'm, I'm all about that. Bum, 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 bum. Eck, the viola can just do like the power sustains, like accented sustains. Cello. Ba, ba. Ba, 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 ba. That's dope. Oh man, if every week could be like this, if every week could be like this, oh man. Staccatos. Legato trumpet in here. This is incredible. We're almost there. Okay, we just got to finish this last part and then we're done. <laughs> we literally have like two bars left. <laughs> Power of crap. Bum 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 been not even an hour and a half. It's been like an hour and 15 minutes since I started. We did it. Oh my gosh. It just happened. It's like magic. Oh wait, crap. I lied. I had this whole second verse to do still. Dang it. I was feeling like, oh my gosh, it's done. I have the whole second verse to do. My bad. I'm gonna take a breather. <laughs> I'm gonna take a breather. And they're gonna come back and knock out that second verse. Oh my gosh. 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 Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Holy... Okay, I literally just went upstairs to get ibuprofen because I have a little bit of a headache. I mean, I actually need... <laughs> oh my gosh. I haven't even taken the ibuprofen. I should take this real quick. I just, <coughs> huge headache coming on. Oh, I just had a song idea. Listen to this. It's gonna sound so bad, but I, I just had this idea pop in my head. I just pulled out my voice record app and recorded it. I haven't had like a good song idea in so long. Tell me why I Making everything complicated. Da, 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 oh my gosh! Da, da, da.
Tell me why are you so jaded Making everything complicated Da da uh, 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 uh. Oh my gosh, jaded. We're gonna write a chorus for this right now. I literally, ah! <laughs> Tell me why, tell me, tell me why lost and alone, so lost and alone. Tell me why you jaded. Tell me why are you so jaded, making everything complicated. Tell me why you feel so lost and alone. Tell me was it wrong? Tell me was, tell me where you, tell me where you, tell me where you scarred. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I think I just got a line. I know you always feel so naked like everybody knows your secrets. Uh, maybe that won't, I don't know, we'll see. I know you always feel so naked like everybody knows your secrets. Hmm. Knows. Oh man. Everybody knows. Oh, everybody knows you hate it. Oh my gosh. I know you always feel so naked. And everybody knows you hate it. I know you're feeling jaded. I know you're feeling jaded. I know you're feeling jaded. And then the ending can be like more uplifting. Tell me, do you feel this whole confused? Oh my gosh, and this with like a cinematic instrumental. Tell me why you so jaded, making everything complicated. Tell me why you feel so lost and alone. I know you always feel so naked, everybody knows you hate it. Tell me why you feel so lost and Feeling jaded. I'm feeling kind of emotional about that. Dang. All right, I think it's gonna start with that chorus and then it'll go into a verse. I like this chord progression. Three o'clock in the morning, staring at the wall, staring at the wall, morning, staring at the wall. Got no words, got no words for this feeling. So you sitting with it all. Got no words for this feeling. So you sitting with it all. I know you're feeling cheated. You're not worthless, you're not, you're not alone. You're not the sum of all, all your wrongs. You're not the sum of all your, so the bridge could be. You're not worthless, you're not alone. You're not the sum of all your wrongs. I know you're feeling lifeless. I know you're feeling helpless. I know you're feeling lifeless. I can hold you. I can hold you when you're. I can hold you when you're helpless. I can hold you when you need rest. There you go. Poof. Been 20 minutes. <clears> Three <throat> o'clock in the morning, staring at the wall. Broken heart, heart is calm. 
I don't know if I've ever done a song where there's no verse two, like it just goes straight to the bridge. I feel like that actually works. I basically just need to figure out like second half of this verse. syllabically work. You got numb to the pain, so you're used to how it feels. Ooh, tell yourself it's okay. It's okay. Tell yourself it's okay. Part of the game. Oh, it's just part of the game. You tell yourself it's okay. It's just part of the game. I'm gonna record a scratch track and play around with this. I thought I was gonna finish in Christ Alone today and then now like this, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I haven't had like an original song idea in a while. Ah! And I feel like before the new year, I was like bursting with ideas, you know, and started this whole series, like we're gonna do this series of making all this music. And I felt so bogged down the last couple weeks that like I forgot how it feels to just write something and this I feel like is reminds me a lot of high school <clears throat> so it kind of hits home a little bit yeah I'm gonna record a, a scratch track now ah let's do it tell me why are you so jaded making everything complicated tell me why you feel so lost and alone I know you always feel so naked And everybody knows you hate it Tell me why you feel so lost and confused I know you're feeling jaded I know you're feeling jaded I just spent like two hours on that. I am so fried right now. I thought I was gonna finish in Christ alone today, but apparently not. I'm so dead right now, I have a huge headache. But man, it was a glorious day. What I made is like a dummy track, but it's actually sounds like just a crazy acoustic version. I'm gonna have to release multiple versions of this song, like the produced one and the stripped down one. Oh my gosh, it's sick. All right, so I have a ton of non-music related things to do the next two days. So this was a little bit of a shorter week work-wise. If you've made it this far and you've watched other episodes, I would love to hear what you think about this video. Obviously, I put a lot more work into the actual editing of this video. I'm really just trying to make as creative videos as I can while also still retaining that realness of the things I'm actually doing every single day, but trying to present them in a way that is maybe a little bit more imaginative and creative. So drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of it, and I'll see you next week.